I keep reading comments about how Justin Fields is at the bottom end of the league when it comes to pass attempts, and as I thought about that, I thought about how many plays there were during the season where Fields goes back to pass the ball and winds up rushing instead. I decided to take a look throughout the league at quarterback dropbacks versus quarterback pass attempts. Now, what this means is every single time you drop back to pass the ball, what percentage of those plays wind up in a situation where you can't even attempt a pass? This means there's either a sack or pressure that results in a rush or a missed opportunity early on um, that results in holding on to the ball for too long. And overall, are you at least attempting to perform the game plan that is being called? So I'm here to run the numbers down for you guys. And, well, let's get started. Tom Brady is the leader in this by far, even at his old age. With 744 dropbacks, he's attempted 714 passes, meaning only 4% of the pass plays called resulted in something other than a pass attempt. Um, no one else in the league comes even close to this number. However, when we do look at other quarterbacks that have a low percentage of the play breaking down, we can see that Patrick Mahomes is around 10%. Um, Aaron Rodgers is 557 dropbacks for 515 attempts, which comes out to 8%. Uh, Justin Herbert has attempted a ton of passes this year, 726 for 662, and he's at about 9%. Um, a guy who's having a decent season, finally, Kirk Cousins is at around 9%. Joe Burrow is really young, but he is in a very pass-heavy offense, and he's at around 11%. Now, Dak Prescott's total dropbacks are a little bit lower, but that's due to missed games from injury. However, he still is at around 9% of pass plays that wind up breaking down. Um, Trevor Lawrence is doing very well in this category. He's at 9% as well. So now, when we take a look at quarterbacks that do have more of a rushing element to their game, you can see that this percentage does get a little bit higher, but... That's probably because they're more likely to trust their legs in some of the plays that aren't open. So Josh Allen sits at around 14%. Um, Jalen Hurts, who's having a great season this year, sits at 15%. Uh, Lamar Jackson, as you can see, his dropbacks are much lower. And that's because he's also only started 12 games. He's been hurt, but he's still around 15%. And even Kyler Murray's at 12%. Now, let me just toss in a couple more examples. Mac Jones, 12%. Daniel Jones, 17%. Geno Smith at 12%. And Russell Wilson, who's struggling a lot this year, has had plays break down 19% of the time. You can see that um, the stat is pretty consistent. If you trust your receivers and you're getting a clean pocket or you're very, very, very football smart like Brady is, you're executing the called plays and the game plan at least 85% of the time or more. And, well, here's why I made this video. Justin Fields, 444 dropbacks for 318 pass attempts. A staggering 29% of the time, Fields drops back and he is not passing the ball. Now, I've given you the numbers. Please make whatever opinion you want of them. However, my opinion is that he doesn't trust the wide receivers because early on he hit them and they would drop the ball. Um, they're still early throws and opportunities that are being missed on his end. There's still a ton of pressure in the passing situation from the O-line, and um, Justin Fields winds up trying to carry the team by scrambling. My concern is that this isn't really a great way to groom a quarterback. It is a really good way to destroy a quarterback, though, and we got to get this kid more talent. He really needs some wide receivers. He needs some better pass protection, and, you know, he needs some more time studying the playbook as well, so some of it's on his end, but... Um, Having the confidence to thr hit throws early is going to help him out a lot, and hopefully we will see an improvement in this category next year.